So, ZapMap have revealed the results of their survey for where is the best places, the best networks for recharging your electric vehicle, your EV. Now, I recently actually drove an EV for the first time this week. I was given a courtesy car that was an EV because my regular car was being service this week and I actually got I was actually quite interested to try it out you know it was different to how I was expecting it was going to be and I'm going to do a video going over what I found found as just a one-time basically you know a one-time driver of an EV something I didn't have to do was charge the car and it's something that is a big anxiety for me in general if I were to have an EV but let's have a look at the best places in the UK to recharge your EV Let's have a look. So, full article on the motoringchronicle.com as always, guys. ZapMap, the UK's leading ch charge point mapping service, has today announced its annual satisfaction ratings for the rapid and ultra rapid public charging networks in the UK. Tesla scored as the highest in the large net size network category, whilst FastNed was highest rank in the medium sized network category. So, Tesla doing the bits, you know, they are the, I think the Model 1 was the best selling car of 2024 so far in the UK. Something like a million units sold last year or something like that. So they're doing the bits not only for, you know, getting cars out there, but also allowing people to charge said cars as well in this country. Now in its seventh year, the keenly watched league table is generated from EV driver responses to ZapMap's annual EV charging survey conducted during October 2024. The survey, which is the most established and comprehensive survey of EV drivers in the UK, saw responses from more than 3,700 battery electric vehicles BEV drivers. This year, given the growing range of networks in the UK, ZapMap has, has grouped rapid and ultra-rapid public charging networks into two categories based on the size of the network. Networks have been grouped into either the medium-sized network category, which is between 100 and 300 charge points, or the large-sized category network that has over 300 charging points. ZapMap awards a Best EV Charging Network accreditation to the top scorer in their category with other top performers who achieve at least the three and a half star overall rating receiving EV driver recommended titles. ZapMap also awards an up and coming network accreditation for smaller emerging networks. As part of the survey, respondents rated their overall satisfaction for the networks they use regularly, which is then used to rank each network out of a maximum of five stars. They also rated the level of satisfaction with the networks in five key areas, reliability, ease of use, customer support, value for money and payment options. In first place in the large slash rapid large for rapid slash ultra rapid network category this year is Tesla. Previously excluded from the charging networks ranking table as it was a closed network exclusively for Tesla drivers, the well-established network national network has been included this year as the operator has opened up many of its charging points for use by drivers of other non-Tesla EVs. With over 860 Tesla chargers in more than 80 charging hubs now open to the wider EV driving community, the network scored well on reliability, cost and ease of use. Drivers most appreciated the Tesla network's value for money, which offers significantly lower prices than many rapid slash ultra rapid networks. Tesla is ZapMap's best EV charging network for 2025 in the large and rapid ultra rapid network category. Also in the large category in second and third place respectively are MFG, EV Power and Osprey Charging, two networks also focusing on rolling out high speed charging hubs at a national level. The two networks earn the EV driver recommended title for 2024-25 rankings alongside B.EV who ranked fourth. The top ranked network in the medium rapid slash ultra rapid network this year is Fastned. Fastned topped the leaderboard in last year's ranking as well with its fantastic hub locations under distinctive yellow canopies. Fastned is an established European player with a large continental footprint but is significantly smaller in the UK than those in the large category. The network now has grown to 26 locations across the UK with over 150 devices. So they're about halfway towards the top of the cap for the, the actual medium sized ones rather than being a large one. The network scored very highly for reliability, ease of use and the payment options offered. 
Fastnet is ZapMap's best EV charge network for 25 in the medium category. Hot on Fastnet's heels in second place in the medium category is Ionity. Ionity is another pan-European player with growing network coverage across the UK and Ireland. Drivers particularly appreciated the network's reliability. Ionity has 270 devices across 37 locations in the UK and achieves the EV driver recommended title in this year's rankings as well. So yeah, guys, a lot of different things on there. I'll just quickly go over the last one as well, the up-and-coming network winner here as well. That went to Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, yes, the supermarket Sainsbury's. Their smart charge was only launched back in January 24, but it's made an impressive start to the rollout with its 150 kilowatt hubs at Sainsbury's sites across the UK. I shop there quite regularly, but I've not noticed an EV charging point yet. Although, to be fair, I don't look out for them because I don't have an EV, so there is that. It's installed hubs at 62 stores to date, which are providing popular, sorry, proving popular with EV drivers, especially as the network has linked charging with Nectar Awards. And we're sure we'll be seeing a lot more in the, of them in the main table next year. They may well win the medium one next year. You never know. So there we go, guys. Yeah, so the best places to charge in the UK for the large ones, it is Tesla according to this survey and Fastned are for the medium ones and the ones to look out for as Sainsbury's of all the actual up and comers you could imagine there. But yeah, there we go, guys. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you agree with these rankings? Do you have an EV? What are your thoughts on the infrastructure in the UK when it comes to EVs for me? It's getting better, but it's still got a ways to go. But I want to hear your thoughts as well. And of course, keep it subscribed to the motoringchronicle.com for much more content like this. I've got a new microphone, as you guys probably have noticed. It's, it's just up here for the moment. I'll probably put it somewhere else when I've got more time to look at the setup and the best way to do it. But the main thing is that this does record the audio very, very well indeed, even though it might be a bit distracting for you guys having it right here. It might be a bit of a culture shock, but hey, for the most of this video, I'm just going to be in the bottom right of the screen anyway, so you don't need to worry about that. The audio is better, and that's what matters. And the EV network in the UK is also improving. So yeah, we'll see you soon, guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe, ring the bell as well. And of course, we'll see you very soon, guys. Have a good one.